ako ng 10 days only short live lang for one special purpose and that is for my book launch and additionally of course kasi graduation ng bunso kong kapatid but anyway sobrang sobrang dami kong pinagdaanan para lang makauwi sobrang daming stress sobrang daming problema good day everyone my name is Jonas I'm your OFW advocate I'm currently working here in the Sultanate of Oman as regional nurse coordinator I'm emergency room nurse and I'm also the preacher of the feast Oman right now I just wanna share my journey to each and every one of you and magkukwento lang po ako uwi ako talaga ng 10 days para sa aking book launch and two years or yeah two years ago I had a dream of writing my own book and while working overseas habang nagtatrabaho ako sa office after ng work ko nag-schedule talaga ako magsulat and I enrolled in series of uh, book writing courses isa na nga doon kay Shana Sino and I'm just so happy that I completed writing the book within that 90 days challenge nag-enroll ako ng 90 days book writing challenge ni Shana Sino and finally I graduated I finished my book I um I printed it and uh, naayos lahat-lahat. Lahat-lahat ng mga kailangan like finances and of course schedule na ayos ko lahat. And I'm just really grateful na uuwi ako ng Pilipinas for 10 days for my book launch and graduation din ng kapatid ko. So ano nangyari? Kumusta naman ang pag-uwi mo? Grabe, medyo nakakaiyak. Alam mo yung feeling na the more that you focus in uh, yung excitement, yung uh, sobrang saya mo na uwi ka ng Pilipinas. Ang dami-dami aberi ang nangyari sa akin. Halos muntik nang di matuloy, halos muntik na ako di makauwi. It's really uh, painful. Halos umiyak na ako. Um, three days ago, last Monday, and um, nakareceive ako ng message. I booked for Thai Airways. Nakareceive ako ng message sa Thai Airline na na-move down ang flight ko. Originally is, uh, ang biyahe ko is June 6, darating ako ng Pilipinas ng June 7, ang book launch ko is June 8 ng 12 noon, ng, ang call time namin para sa book launching. But after that is, um, na-risk ko yung message ng Thai Airways na na-move down ang flight. Ang magiging option na is, ang dating ko ng Pilipinas is June 8 ng 7pm. Lampas na dun sa pinaka-purpose kong book launch. So, sobrang devastated ako. I don't know what to do. I'm really stressed. And three days before, I don't know kung ano mangyayari. So, I explained sa Thai Airways na baka naman may mahanap pa yung flight for me kasi uwi talaga ako para habulin ko yung... Uh, yung book launch ko ng June 8. Ang nangyari ngayon, wala daw silang available. And ang option na lang ng Thai Airway for me is if a full refund nila yung, yung ticket na binayad ko, tapos maghanap na lang ako ng ibang airline. Sobrang nakaka-stress kasi, ay, this is my life. The book launch is, alam mo yun, buhay ko yun. Yun ang main reason kaya talaga ako uuwi and hindi pwede niya baka punta ng book launch. So I was really devastated. I actually cried and I prayed a lot and uh, I, I contacted my friends kasi medyo uh, bitin na rin ng, hindi naman nila na marifan agad yung pera. So I need to start to look for money, additional money para lang mabuk ko yung flight ko going back to the Philippines. Anyway, the good news is sa awa ng Diyos, nakahanap ako ng ibang airlines in which uh, matutuloy pa rin ako, makarating pa rin ako ng June 8 ng, ng Pilipinas makakahabol pa rin ako sa aking book launch but that was really tough day for me last Monday so yun yung first na test of faith ko dito yung cancel down flight ko number two test of faith is that I work in the office and uh, dapat ngayon dito bakasyon dapat ako dito sa Oman kasi nga um, holiday nila dito however, pinag-jude ako ng morning ng Wednesday and morning ng Thursday so ang mangyayari niyan Thursday ang flight ko, mag-jude pa ako ng umaga 7pm ang balik ang flight ko, bibiyahe pa ako ng almost 2 hours para makarating sa Muscat International Airport and it's really challenging. <laughs> so, sana mahabol ko yung time ng pagpunta ko doon. So, instead na makarest, sana ako makapagpahinga, marilax. Hindi, na-stress ako sa biyahe. Sa biyahe ko, excuse me. So, that's the problem na, na, na that's the second test of pain and experience. So, another thing is, number three is 20 hours layover. Imagine, mag, ang nahanap ko lang ng flight, mag ako ng 20 hours sa Dubai. Oh my gosh! Ano kayong gagawin ko nung kailangan matulog, kailangan siguro nga, ano ba, kumain and all. But, uh, I think I will make it productive. Yun na lang iniisip ko. Sana makapagsulat ako ng mas marami pang vlog or sana makapag-vlog din ako doon. And, uh, pero yung 20 hours, Sobra <laughs> stress. Sana makapagpahinga ako doon. And number four na test of faith ko pa alam nyo kung ano, 5.50 a.m. ang aking dating sa Pilipinas ng June 8. Ang book launch is 12 noon. So I need to rest only for 2 or 3 hours para tumakbo na sa book launch and makahabol. Pero on top of that, ang pinaka-prayer ko basta makarating ako ng June 8, makatapak ako sa stage ng June 8 and that's already an amazing fit for me. Matutuwa na. Sobrang-sobrang matutuwa na ako doon. So, yun lang. Sobrang nakaka-stress ang, ang pinagdadaan ko sa aking uh, journey dito sa pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas. 
Pilipinas para sa aking book launch. Anyway, I'm still happy and grateful na medyo okay lahat. Ang advice ko lang, when times na sobrang nag-challenge ka na, sunod-sunod yung mga nagiging problema mo, I think uh, we can solve our problems one problem at a time. Minsan nakakonsume tayo ng lahat ng stress, sobrang nakakayak na and all. But when we pray, and tingnan natin kung anong pwede solution on hand. And and one thing na na-discover ko during this test of faith din is, meron ding test of friendship. <laughs> Malalaman mo talaga yung mga totoong kaibigan na willing mag-extend ng help sa'yo, willing tumulong. And right now, I just wanna acknowledge all my friends who helped me a lot. Si Doc Brian sa Gab uh, Health Center, MOIC there. Just wanna extend my gratitude also for Abigail, kay best friend Rhea, sa lahat mga tumulong si Nati Lori, lahat mga tumulong sa akin. So, sobrang stressful na moment ko. So anyway, I'm ready. I'm preparing now. Tomorrow is my... Um, flight already. Excited na ako to go home in the Philippines for a very short 10 days vacation para sa aking book launching and graduation na rin ang kapatid ko. I'm just very excited. I'll be sharing with you my journey. Um, I've been working here in the Sultan of Oman in the past 5 years and this is the first time na uwi ako ng sobrang iksilang para sa isang big event. My ultimate dream in life is to become a best-selling author to inspire other people through my books and also to speak in front of people, to motivate them. So, gusto ko lang mag-push ng mga tao pataas, especially lahat ng mga naghihirapan sa buhay, lahat ng mga nakaka-experience ng kalungkutan, lahat ng mga nakaka-stress sa buhay. Lalo na, of course, ang aking uh, first love, ang pinakamalapit sa puso ko, ang mga overseas Filipino workers. So, I'm doing everything just to encourage, to lift each other, and uh, sana ma-inspire sila. Ma-inspire kayo sa lahat ng mga ginagawa ko ngayon because uh, this is really my purpose. It's uh, money secondary, but my primary purpose is to 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 show to people that I care and I really have a message to share and uh, sabi ko nga lagi my vision is to end broke overseas Filipino workers I am staying here in the Sultanate of Oman hindi pa ako nakakauwi ng Pilipinas but soon enough I'll be going home for good pero sa ngayon nandito pa lang din ako because of uh, contract obligation and financial obligation as well so pag matapos ko na ma-fix ko in the next few months that yung mga yan makakauwi na rin ako sa Pilipinas anyway I'm just really grateful to everyone uh, who is uh, supporting me so much from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate everyone who is supporting me in this journey of becoming a best-selling author. So, yun lang po. Book launch ko na ng June 8, 2019, 12 noon sa... Ortigas Foundation Library to all my friends and to anyone who's interested to join, please contact me and uh, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. So, yun lang. Please help me pray para sa aking safe trip sa Pilipinas and para sa maging, maging fruitful na din ang aking trip sa Pilipinas. Pagdasal nyo, makarating ako ng buhay na buhay at makabalik din ng Oman ng safe and sound and of course, maging successful lahat ng mga gagawin sa Pilipinas. Thank you so much for watching and I want to share I, I, I want to share everything, my journey here and uh, thank you so much for, for watching here for visiting my my channel for more usapang overseas filipino workers usapang w please click the subscribe button below and of course don't forget to to share as well and click your new bell para updated kay lagi lagi nyo lang tatandaan ang ibig sabihin ng OFW ay overseas filipino winners bye bye so i'm just excited <laughs> Woo! see you filipinas